I'm looking at both of you brothers, and I noticed there's no jewelry. Um, you guys seem like you're living very modest. Can we, I, I think one of the things that plagues our community is all of the people who we have seen, especially with, with the dope boys and the, the athletes and the, the rappers and entertainers, they wear their wealth, you know, and, and it influences the kids. It, that, that is what our community sees as being wealthy is. Mm -hmm. I know I'm balling, I know I'm doing it when I got three, four chains around my neck, when I'm driving that, that Benz 550 or whatever it might be. But like I said, I'm looking at both of you guys. You guys are, are clearly intelligent. You guys are clearly woke financially. Can we speak to the differences between, and I like to call it, uh, uh, let, let, let's just call it lifestyle rich because that, that's really what it is. Like so many people who you think are rich, they're, they're wearing their wealth, but they don't have money in the bank. They're not thinking about tomorrow. They're not thinking like you said earlier, Dave, when you're like, yo, you gotta have six months reserved there as opposed to being really wealthy. Can we speak to the differences between the two? Just the mindset of, of being lifestyle rich and, and truly putting money to the side for true wealth? Mm. Yeah, so I definitely see this in our community a lot. Like, like you said, we just wearing that wealth. Um, even as far as like my younger brothers, like they're, they're like that. They want to look hood rich. They want to be a dope boy or whatever. And it's, it, it hurts me because I'm like, bro, like this is not the way to do it. Like, let me show you. But at the same time, they don't see me with the chains, with the cars and all of this and that. So it's like, it's not making sense to them. Like, you don't have it like I want it. So why am I going to do it like this? So I, I, it's just important because instead of you wanting to wear your wealth, I'd rather say, okay, I got this cash reserves. I can take a trip whenever I want to. Or, hey, you know what? I feel like going to eat a $100 steak tonight. You can do that without without worrying about, you know, what am I going to eat tomorrow? Or do I have to take half of this steak home just so I have a good meal tomorrow? So I feel like we just need to start understanding that, that wearing that wealth also, it's not going to last. Like, that's, all of that stuff is all pretty much, how do I call this? The liabilities. They're depreciating. Yeah, Liability. I don't even want to call them depreciating assets because they're not assets whatsoever. Yeah, liabilities. They really yeah. are. And even even with like the buzz down, buzz down rollies, iced out watches, and all of that, none of that shit has value. You go to try to trade that in, they're giving you less than what you paid for. Whenever the real rich and the real wealthy, they're investing in the gold, but they got solid bricks of gold. I got solid bricks of silver because this is his, it in its purest form. So instead of you rocking a gold plated chain, how about you take that same money you would go spend and actually buy you invest into some solid gold, things that will actually appreciate. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Cause like our, the, the whole idea behind us wanting to wear our wealth and like our people want to do that. I feel like that's some financial trauma type stuff. Like, we never were educated on money. We've always seen money be like this, this pain point in our community. So now like, instead of really learning, wanting to learn how it actually works, a lot of us assume that this is the way it goes. We think that because they look rich, they are rich. And that that's the only way to be rich is to look rich. But I, I think whenever we start giving our people like examples of like, when you start putting side by side examples of different people in like, you know, in their see, scenarios, yeah, like in their scenarios, like people will be here like, oh, this person makes one hundred thousand dollars a year, but they end up with zero dollars because they materialistic. You want to get every new pair of shoes and he ain't got no. You ain't doing nothing to flip nothing. You ain't trying to make no money. You just spend, 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 spend. The person that made 50 K can be way better off in 10, 20 years if they invest in 
a third of their income than the person who's over here spending a hundred percent of their hundred thousand dollars. Like it's just understanding that these these principles and understanding how investing works in general. Because I think a people our people often like equate the stock market and investing in a lot of these assets as like a risk, a gamble. Like I'm gonna lose my money. But if you look at things, we talk long term and we speaking historically, things go up and to the right. For the for the most part, the stock market in general. If you invest in the S and P five hundred ETF, uh, you put eight hundred dollars in there. You you gonna see it? The eight hundred dollars gonna be worth a lot more in thirty years than it would be if you just spent that eight hundred on some bull. But that's the thing. We look at it like you said in thirty years. We want we want it right now. That's another issue in our community. A lot of times we want things right now at the moment. Microwave, hey. Let me get it right now. And I think I want to speak to that trauma too, because I think that's another reason why we, we wear our wealth is it kind of makes us feel better. Oh, I got this. So that means I got money. Let me show you. I got these new J's that mean I got money. You wearing them busted up shoes, but now I got these $200 J's on. So it, 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 makes you psychologically feel like, oh, I'm actually doing something. But in all actuality, you're paying $220 for shoes that cost $10 to make. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.